Thanks, Kate, for joining us today. Um, Kate Burke is from Think Agri and he's Managing Director. So, Kate, dairy farmers have this perception that canola hay is of poor quality. Uh, what are some of the things that uh, you can dismiss as myths around that? Certainly, uh, canola does have quite a, a, a bit of bulk in, in some cases and canola um, uses effectively twice as much water as, as grain. So. It's, it's a high risk proposition getting it to, to um, maturity. So potentially, you know, there is an opportunity for, for growers to cut canola for hay or make it available for silage. And, and the, if, if it's done well, the quality is actually very similar to a legume, um, a legume uh, hay crop or, yep. or um, bale of, of hay. Uh, if it's done poorly, it's just like any other poor quality hay. So the, the key to it is, is uh, time of cutting and um, the highest quality is, is around um, sort of mid-flowering. So when the, the canola crop's very yellow and bright and the leaves are still very green. Um, in terms of getting the uh, optimum tonnage from the hay growers perspective though, probably the best bet is a little later than that uh, at late flowering or early early pod fill, the grain quality is still quite good in terms of digestibility and, and, and fibre and, and um, ME. Protein is, is down a little bit compared to if you, if you cut it earlier, but it certainly dries quicker and, and the tonnage per hectare will be higher. Um, and as long as it's, uh, it's processed well when it's made, it's not over raked, it's conditioned well, you know, it's chopped, uh, by the time it gets through a baler, you, you end up with pretty good hay. Um, the experiences and those perceptions of hay being poor quality probably come from some wives' tales in the, in the drought of 2002 or even prior to that, and then they just get a little story of their own yeah. and continue on. One of the um, things people do need to be mindful of, though, uh, if it's the... Um, earlier cut hay and it's quite high in, in uh, protein is that you, there can be um, issues with nitrates and nitrate poisoning if it's fed as a, a um, lone ration on a, to a hungry animal. So, and that goes the same for, for grazing canola. But if it's part of a ration and it's um, introduced in, in a sensible manner, um, you know, there shouldn't be any issues at all.